Hey everyone, welcome back to another recap podcast from SNX Weave, where we give quick weekly recaps of news and important updates from the previous week from the Spartan Council and core contributors, as well as discuss what the Grants Council and ambassadors are up to, so let's get started. First up, for our work in progress update, CCs have made some headway on the proof of concept for the cross-chain pool synthesis SIP. They're exploring a solution using Wormhole, which is a cross-chain messaging platform that allows developers to build dApps that span the entire blockchain ecosystem. Wormhole is currently working on a product called Cross-Chain Queries, which is closest to satisfying the technical spec required for synthetics of any other cross-chain messaging solution. For markets, the testnet trading competition is still live. Most of the CC attention has been on the competition this past week, as they have identified several core changes. The focus is now shifting back towards the staking dApp for v3, as more realistic data comes in from the competition. The CCs are also in the process of reviewing the second audit report for SIP 337 for Perps v3, and its fixes are close to completion. In other discussion, the Spartan Council and core contributors discussed integrator profitability last week, with Bert bringing up integrator cost. He mentioned that operating costs for Quenta come in at around $200,000 a month. Quenta has received some grant support from Optimism, but that's not expected to be an ongoing source of funding to cover operating expenses. So looking forward, fee sharing will have to provide enough incentive to continue maintaining Quenta, and most likely other integrators as well. Millie brought up that Synthetics generated $1.2 million in fees over the past 30 days. So three integrators at $200,000 a month would require a fee share over 50%. Bert countered by saying even some fee share would free up funds that could be used for further development and promotion that could drive volume increases. He continued saying the goal should be to set achievable targets for both profitability of integrators and net benefit to Synthetics. Quenta, Polynomial, and Rage have floated 30% as a starting point for the discussion, in some combination of fee share and locked SNX from the treasury. This is the number at which integrators feel they may be able to support their operations while also adding value for the ecosystem. Adam said he most likely wouldn't vote for any higher than 20% unless there was a clear, measurable plan for an increase in volume. He also highlighted that this creates an incentive for integrators to participate in growing the collateral base, which creates better alignment between partners. If a portion of that funding is diverted to SNX for staking, the effective rate would be closer to the 30% target after staking rewards are factored. Duck said he would also fall somewhere between 20 and 30%, maybe 20% in SUSD and a possible 10% in locked SNX. The idea of 25% while requiring 5% open market purchases was also discussed, which has the added benefit of supporting the SNX price and creating more protocol liquidity that drives volume. Gene is concerned that a flat fee share may pull value directly from stakers without necessarily leading to the increased volume outcome. Bert responded to this saying Quenta, as the largest driver of perps volume in the ecosystem, would benefit from a tiered fee share structure but he thinks a flat fee is better optimized for creating competition. Gene countered by saying the tiered system incentivizes growing the pie, and simply increasing the fee share wouldn't necessarily compel integrators to chase more volume. He acknowledged the model is not sustainable for integrators as it is now, and that the fee share needs to increase. But even at 20%, he said he would like to see it come with some conditions. In Grants Council updates, the team is considering a retroactive grant for COPIN, as well as various community members who contributed to the open source development work. The Watcher page is also live and CT is working on adding finishing touches to the governance docs. And the NFTs will be launching soon as a free mint. Keep your eyes peeled for an announcement there. Also, that project we mentioned a few weeks ago with Notify is almost finished. Matt actually shared Notify with the 300 to help test it out. It will serve as Synthetic's new notification solution and will help deliver real-time notifications about C-Ratio, account summaries, rewards reminders, announcements, and more to users. If all goes to plan, this will be available publicly soon. And that's it for today's updates. 
Be sure to check out our weekly recap blog post, share this podcast link, and let us know what you think and what you'd like to hear more about from SNX Wii U. Thanks for listening.